Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. See, so in this session, so we are going to discuss so one very important discussion. So, as soon as object has created, the constructor returns object reference. We know that. Here, the question is object reference is an integer then why we are not collecting object address into integer type variable why it it is of type class that is a question here the question is why we cannot collect object address into integer variable instead of class type so this is the question see so what is the answer so actually in c and c++ one concept is there that is user defined data type structure right suppose if it is a c or c++ language in c and c++ so there is a concept called structures so what is the use of a structures struct struct and here it is a structure name we are giving. So, any name best example we are taking employee employee and inside that employee is we are declaring employee number employee name is so employee name is a character array is so employee name and employee cell is so a float type employee cell. So, we are declaring like this. So, what is the use of structures? We can declare or we can store different types of data into a single variable and that is what we called user defined data type. Sir, so why sir user defined data type? Simple thing, we can collect different types of data, different types of data that is ok. So, here so, this is one data type struct employee is one data type. Then how to store information into that variable sir. So, first we need to create a variable to this way to this data type struct struct emp and this is e this is variable and this is data type. Sir, data type is always a single word now like int float double those are primitive types and here it is user defined is a two words struct emp is completely representing data type and this is a variable. So, whenever you created that variable the memory will be allocated at some location at some location to store employee number employee name and employee salary and that address will be collected into e and it start pointing to that location. Always it holds that base address, it holds that base address. The memory block will be created. So, for employee number, employee name and employee salary and that we are collecting into E. Sir, actually 2046 is a address, na? it is address, it is address. Sir, what type of variables holds address? pointer type variable, pointer type variable. Sir, where is the pointer? Show me here the pointer, no star, the pointer means what asterisk star we know that, but no pointer. C language supports internal pointers concept and external pointers concept. Internal pointers means arrays, structures, strings all these are comes under internal pointers because a structure variable, array variable, string variable all these variables internally holds address only not the data ok. So, those are internal pointers. Sir, external pointers is a pointers concept only explicitly you should specify that a star ok. So, this is internal pointer variable E is a internal pointer variable which is holding address with the help of this pointer variable only you can access and now E is of type what user defined data type this is 
user defined data type user defined data type and just advanced to structures in C and C++ is nothing but is nothing but class in Java. Suppose if it is a Java in place of a struct EMP just we are writing class EMP we are writing class EMP except that everything is the same employee number and here it is directly string data type is there employee name and employee salary and in the main method if you create object we know how to create object with the help of new operator and constructor calling the constructor will return the value so that address we are collecting into e e is of type what is employee type only it is not integer type. Sir, you said address is integer only na? Address is integer. Just imagine if it is collecting into integer variable later you will get confusion that is it a data or address. Just imagine if you collect the 2046 into an integer variable like x, x is a integer variable just consider later later if you want to process that x now tell me x is a integer data or x is a address of memory block you will get confusion so that is why integer is different pointer is different integer variables holds data pointer variables holds address but so both are in the form of integers only you should understand the difference the so, basics very very important ok. So, here here in Java also in Java. So, constructor what new operator will do it will create object at some location memory will be allocated inside non static variables get memory allocation we know that and of course, initializes with the default values default values. So, once memory has been allocated that constructor will return that address that we are collecting into E. So, E start pointing to this one 2046. Sir, E is holding address na. So, what type of variable it is? It is internal pointer variable internal pointer variable the people saying that Java does not support pointers Java does not support pointers. So, remember one thing as a pointer means what that is a pointing to a memory location without working with a memory no programming language in this world ok. So, externally you are not writing pointers in Java, but internal pointers are there. So, where is the proof this is only the practical proof if anyone is saying that Java does not support. Java does not support pointers concept means they do not have the basic knowledge of a C and C++ pointers concept ok. So, understand. So, Java supports internal pointers ok internally E is a pointer variable the best example E is holding address a memory address what type of variables holding address means what only pointer variables where is a pointer internally it is a pointer type and class is a user defined data type just like a structure is a struct EMP type it is a user defined data type here it is a class EMP type it is a user defined data type. This is the reason so why we are collecting the address into a class type variable it is a user defined data type variable ok and why it is not integer suppose if you collect into integer later you will get confusion what is integer what is address that is a problem you will face. So, that is why separately so they defined so one is integer and one is a pointer hope you understood right for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you thank you all. Thank you.